Hi everyone, I hope you are all okay and it's story time and today I'm going to read you a book called Kind. Now this book is very important to me and very special because Miss Lindsay bought it for me as a present and I really love the story. Um, and I thought I'd read it to you today because I think we just need to remember to be kind to each other, especially that now that we're home. So being kind to our mummies and daddies, being kind to our brothers and sisters and just being kind to yourself and making sure you look after yourself. So it's kind and it's written by Alison Green. Imagine a world where everyone is kind. How can we make that come true? Here's a good place to start. Just give someone a smile. There are lots of good ways to be kind. We can listen to people, especially when they're sad. We can give them a hug if they're feeling lonely. If someone's frightened or worried, we can offer to hold their hand. They're, if they're in trouble, we can see if, they, if we can help. Can you tell someone a story to cheer them up? It's good to listen to their stories too. And let's make sure no one's left out when we're playing a game and that everyone is cared for. Have you ever made a kindness jar? Every time you do something kind, put a marble or a button into it. I bet you'll soon fill it up. What else can we do to be kind today? Here are some good ideas. Can you help carry a bag? Or pick up things people have dropped? Or let someone else go in front of you? It's really kind to be patient, especially when you don't feel like it. Animals need lots of kindness too. What do you do best? We're all good at different things, so let's give everyone the chance to shine. Sometimes extra kindness is needed, such as when you meet someone who's new where you live. Can you be a good friend and help them feel at home? What's the favourite game? Is it a quiet one or a really noisy one? If they're trying to learn our language, perhaps you can tell them new words. Good morning, laugh, family, love, my friend, happiness, breakfast, kind, welcome, school, help, play, peace, home and hello. How about learning some words from their language too? Look at all these different ways of saying hello. Hola, ciao, namaste, salut, shalom, bog, uh, mubaraka, hola, ciao, konnichiwa, namaste. Lots of different ways of saying hello. Sometimes people have lived through very hard times. They had to leave their homes and the countries because of danger. They are brave and amazing and they have extraordinary stories to tell. How can you welcome them? Can you share your toys with them or draw pictures together? Sometimes people say we don't have enough to share and there's no room for anyone more. But maybe you can say there's plenty of room, come on in. After all, if you don't let people in, you'll never know what you're missing. There might be a wonderful new friend just outside the door. Everyone is valuable and we all have gifts to share. Let's be curious about the world and all the people in it. It's fun to see what we, what we do the same and what we do differently. Everyone can be kind, even if they're really small or a bit shy. It feels nice to be kind and it's a good idea too, because if everyone is kind, we'll make a better world.
the end. I hope you've enjoyed the story. It was just a reminder for us all to be kind at home and every other every other time as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the story and I hope to read you another one very soon. Bye year ones.